Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw an Among Us character with a nest hat. You know, like a bird's nest, like the eggs in the nest. Um, so it's going to be easy and for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner, this should be very simple and easy for you. So let's get started. I'm going to have this Crayola brand marker uh, and also I'm going to be using this paper right here. It's a simple, uh, just just simple basic uh, computer paper. Uh, you can use whatever you want. I actually have a list in the description for suggestions because sometimes I use a different marker. I use this one sometimes. Uh, so anyways, that's it. Let's get started. You can use whatever you want though. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a curved line and that's gonna be for the top of that kind of visor area that uh, you know the crewmate has. And then I'm gonna pull around this corner here for the front of it. I always call it a visor, just that, that window the crewmate looks through, uh, you know, on the spacesuit. Curved line as well on this side. And then curved line below. So that to me, I always say this looks like a pillow. Like that literally looks like a pillow to me, uh, like just thinking about it abstractly. Um, but yeah, that to me looks like a bloated triangle, a pillow. Pull line up for the top of the head. The reason that looks, I, I always say that, is I compare it to other simple shapes. And when you think of something as another simple shape, it's much, much easier for you to remember how to draw it. Because you're like, oh, it has that kind of shape to it. Uh, and then your mind kind of does that. Uh, it'll, it'll just remember like, oh yeah, I can do that. Instead of remembering like, oh, there is a window that he looks through. What does that look like? Um, anyways, also, if you like learning a little bit about drawing every single day, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, so when you subscribe, it's gonna let you know when I post a video. I post a video three times every single weekday. So that is Monday through Friday. Um, and that's that's gonna be all beginner lessons, right? So that's three beginner lessons every single weekday. Uh, it's not gonna crowd your feed. So it's basically gonna tell you about every third video, it'll let you know. Um, there's no downside to it. So it's completely free to do so, to subscribe. Uh, if you find my work to be worth your time, uh, please consider subscribing because as far as on my end, it just helps keep track of people. Uh, it helps with the algorithm in general. So let me go back into this. I'm going to pull uh, a line down. And that's going to be for the stomach and the leg. It's really just kind of one straight line. Sometimes you can kind of put a, li a little belly on it, um, but not always. It doesn't really, you don't have to. I'm gonna go over here into the back of the head and I'm gonna kind of form a line. I usually put like a dot here to mark where I'm gonna do it. Uh, I put a dot usually here and I'd put a dot like anywhere toward the bottom here. And then I try to connect those lines. My light is really, why is my light doing that? All right, my light turns off randomly. Going down, so, and that's all the way down the back, down the leg. All right, I'm gonna pull in here for the bottom of the foot on this side, and then I'm gonna pull in here for the bottom of the foot on that side. Pulling up. Uh, pulling the low, in the lower portion of the body here, and then I'm gonna pull a line up here. Wow, what is up with this light? All right. God, I need a new light. All right. Um, so I'm going to be thinking about the space between the top of this window here and the bottom. And I'm going to be in my mind's eye, I'm going to think about halfway in, halfway, and then I'm going to follow back and I'll mark it there. That's going to be the top of the backpack. Over here is lower body, lower portion of that backpack or oxygen bag, right? What is, what is that? Like an oxygen backpack? And I'm going to connect it here in the back. So that shape to me, just that shape looks like a loaf of bread stuck on his back. That's literally what that looks like to me. Okay, now let's draw the nest hat. I'm gonna kind of make my line a little wigglier because the nest is made up of a bunch of like, you know, branches and dirt and stuff like that, right? What is a nest made up of? So it's gonna have a little wiggle to it. And then I'm gonna pull up here. And then I'm gonna pull up here, right? 
before I close it off though, I'm not gonna close it off yet. Uh, I'm gonna put another wiggly line over here, but it's not gonna be touching the edges. All right. And I'm gonna draw one egg here. It's like one part of an egg, so it looks like a little hill, really. And then um, another little hill behind that. So that looks like, you know, you got two eggs there. Then I'm gonna close it up over here with the back of that nest because you want that nest to look like it's enveloping the eggs, right? And if you really want, you could throw a few dots over here for like maybe texture of that nest. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to um, thicken the line everywhere. And the reason I wanna do that is because I want it to match the animation from the game. So I think just thickening the line everywhere just a bit is gonna be valuable to it. And it's really gonna make it look uh, like the game. Uh, while I'm doing that, I will talk to you. Uh, if you like drawing cute stuff, right? If you like drawing cute things, you're like, oh, I wanna draw like cute bears and that kind of thing. Not everybody does, but if you do, uh, I have a free ebook in the description section over here. Uh, it goes over the proportions of cute. Like what is cute exactly? Like, like how does that work? Like, cause even that concept, people are like, how do I make this thing look cute? Um, and it's all, it literally is all in the proportions. Um, and I go over that. It's just an ebook. It's a visual ebook. So like you'll, it'll probably take you like a minute or something. Um, it'll probably take you like 20 minutes or something to go through it. Um, and then once you go through it, you'll, you'll immediately have a better understanding of cute, like right off the bat. Um, if you, but if you do like that kind of stuff, the only catch is you have to find it <laughs> in the description because I have a lot of links in the description. So that is the only catch. If you find it, uh, it's completely, completely 100% free if you, when you find it. So go check that out. Um, as far as like the channel goes, the channel has been amazing for me. Um, this has been uh, a lifesaver. Like I've been pretty much I, I've, I've had this channel for six years and I've never updated it more than now. And I'm, I'm like in the last six, like I've had it for six years and the last six months I've been working on it so much. Um, and I'm so thankful. Everybody's so nice. Um, the only thing I don't like about doing this is editing the video afterward. I have to edit the video and then I have to write stuff in the description. That stuff is a drag. Um, and it, and it makes me very tired every day because I have to do it for three videos every single weekday. Right. Um, but yeah, if you ever wanted to help, if you do enjoy what I do here and if you do it, you, you can make a really big difference. You can make a huge difference actually. Um, you can share a video that makes the biggest, biggest difference, believe it or not. When you share a video, I, I, that, I've kind of narrowed it down to that. When you share a video, uh, new people show up and are just super positive. And I get this like almost positivity boom when people share it. I'm not joking. Like that literally happens. Somebody from outside channel be super nice. And it, it just, the more positive energy I have, it's just like, it cheers me up and it literally makes my whole day a lot better. Um, and when that happens, I just don't care about the editing stuff I have to do after this or the writing. I'm like, you know what? This is worth it, you know? Um, but yeah, if you ever want to help the channel out, you will make a difference if you do that. When, you know, if you share it, share it anywhere, by the way. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, anywhere you share it, it will make a huge difference, believe it or not. Uh, that is it. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, you've been great. This is easy pictures to draw and I'll see you tomorrow. So talk to you later.